Hi, this is Samantha, and uh, today I have a couple videos for you for our Glue Dots uh, Lindy Stamp Gang and Basic Gray Blog Hop. Um, I'm going to do a couple of videos just to keep them a little shorter and more manageable so you can come back and see. I've got a couple different techniques using all of these. My base project today is a envelope album, and there's lots of different ways you can put envelope albums together. I'm going to show you my favorite way today. You'll need some envelopes, uh, a little bit of pattern paper to decorate your album, and some glue lines or glue dots to start out with, and I'll show you how to do it. Now the best thing with envelope albums is you can make them as large or as small as you would like them to be. If you need lots of pages, you can add it. If you only need a few, you can make it that way as well. Additionally, by picking the size of envelope you need, you can always make sure that you've got uh, an album big enough for whatever size photos you like to work with. I today am using envelopes left over from my Christmas cards. They had um, our address printed on them, so I just blacked that out today. You can use envelopes you pick up directly from any store, or you can use leftover ones you have from something. You can use them in any color. I've made envelope albums, or I've actually scored and made the envelopes myself out of pattern paper. Sky's kind of the limit with this. Today I have seven envelopes total. This is going to be my front page, so it's going to, I'm going to work with this a little bit different. These are going to be my following inside pages. And so what I've done here is because you'll see just a little bit of this when you assemble your album. You're going to see just a hint of this. I'm covering over here. You wouldn't have to do this if you didn't want to if your flap was just plain, but since I have my address printed on those, I don't want that showing up. So I am doing just a little piece of pattern paper over it. And this is from Basic Gray's um, Carte Postale line. And so I'm doing a travel album, so I use that for my travel. I just wanted to show you how I covered one of those real quickly. I roughly measured the flap of my envelope here and cut a piece that's just long enough. I went short on the corners here because it'll make it easier to fold when you're flipping pages. So I didn't go all the way to the edges because you won't see it when you slip it in. This will get covered up anyways by this part. So you can go a little bit shorter if you want. And I'm just going to stick a couple of glue dots on it. I'm using craft glue dots here, but truly any glue dots you have that you prefer. You know, if you like um, the mini size better, you can certainly use those as well. Roller or on the roll, whatever your preference is. And then all I did was line this up. Now I went just a hair short of where it's sco scored to fold. If you butt all the way up against that fold line, it'll start to get thick and it won't bend quite as easily. So I went just a hair underneath. All right, my cover here, because this is going to be the cover of my album, I don't need this little flap here just on the cover of my book. Oh, and I'm, I apologize, I forgot to mention, these are envelopes sized for a five by seven photo or card. And so these are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter inch envelopes that I'm working with today. But again, any size will work. So up for your cover, you don't need this front flap. So all I'm gonna do is take my trimmer here and go right along that fold line and get rid of that since I don't need it. And move that out of the way. So this is my cover. I'm gonna open my book up because this will be the inside of my book. Now, every other page that I've got is going to be a nice little folder so I can put little mementos from our summer trips this summer inside. The way this album assembles is you're gonna slide this right into here, but you wanna tack that down so it stays together. I've got the side that you would lick or you know pull a strip off to make it sticky. You want that to be the side that you adhere down. So that way, just in case, especially if you don't cover this side, you don't want the sticky side up just by accident. All right, so I'm gonna fold it sticky side up now because this is the side I want to adhere down to this flap here. And I've got two glue lines here today. I have uh, the glue lines that come in little one inch increments in case you haven't seen those. 
they look like that. And I also have the continuous glue line. Either one will work for this, whichever you prefer. Again, if you like yours pre-cut for you in little continuous or in little um, one inch pieces or if you want a continuous line. I'm going to use the continuous line today, I think. Um, but truly either one works just fine. And what I like to do is just lay it down so it goes all the way across my top there and then I come back and snip this little piece off and I'm going to go across the bottom edge. For something like this there's no such thing as too much adhesive. And pardon the back of my head if it gets in the way here for a second. And again with this I'm going slightly below the line that it's folded on and let me bring that in see if you can see um, the line where it folds is right here and so I have my uh, glue line just just a hair above that so again when this is going to be sort of the binding you know where your pages turn so you want to make sure that you give it a little bit of room to fold and move for you and I'm just gonna peel off that backing here. So now my glue is sticky, so be careful where you stick your hands. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to flip it back over now, and I'm going to slide it in to my pocket. And when I get it lined up about where I want it, I'm going to give it a rub down. So you have your pocket, and you fold over and repeat this for the next page. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add some adhesive and stick it in so it folds. I'm going to go do a bunch of these and I'll come back and show you what the whole album looks like once I put glue lines on all of these and feed my papers in because um, I don't think you need to see me do six of these. So I'm going to do that and then I will come back and show you what it looks all put together. All right, and I'm back with the put together album that's all ready to be embellished now. I just wanted to give you a look at it all together. This is the cover page that we cropped the flap off of. And then that's that first page you saw me put together and it just keeps going. Now for this, I have all my pockets on the left hand side. That's just what I wanted. I'm gonna slip mementos in on one side and put a photo on the other side. If you want your pockets to be on the opposite side, it's really truly um, as simple as flipping the book over before you start. Your front page will have a pocket in it. If you want that, you can leave it and work with it. If you don't, you just cut a piece of paper that fits right over the top of it when you're embellishing it and you tack down the envelope part when you're embellishing it. Um, but if you want your pocket on the other side, it's really that simple as just flipping it over. So this is my blank album that I am ready to embellish now and I'll come back one last time just to give you a look at what it looks like all put together. I finished up some of the pages of my memorabilia album now and I wanted to show you what this looks like once you put your envelope album together and get them decorated up. The front cover doesn't have a pocket on it the way I put it together. So this is my front cover. And inside I put things like our map from our trip to the zoo that has our path that we took outlined on it and everything. And the best part is then um, you can get this out and look at it and your kids can pull it out because it's not tacked down to a page. And sometimes those things are hard to fit on pages. So this is just a great way to keep some of those things. So we had our trip to the zoo. I did a photo on one side and journaling on the other. And I'm gonna keep that theme throughout the album. So again, I've got journaling and a photo and a room key from our hotel stay. So I just tucked that in there. And we also, so far this summer, have taken in a kids concert, so we saved our ticket stubs from that. And I've got those tucked in, and again, just a few photos from our concert and uh, the journaling about our concert. So that's just an idea of what you can do with an envelope album and how you can save memorabilia or other fun things when you're traveling inside an uh, album like that. And this again was put together with glue dots, basic gray cart post style, 
and uh, Lindy's Stamp Gang mists and sprays. Thanks so much for stopping by.